Now we're at the point where having three hands and a prehensile monkey tail comes in handy. Reassembly. It's just as easy as disassembly, except when you put the engine in the case, you've got to do three, four things at once to get it to actually slide into place. What you got to do is the fuel line has to be in this little channel right here. All right, the spark plug wire runs on the outside and through this hole and out, and then gets pushed down into this little notch. And at the same time, you have to align the engine, the flywheel up to here, there's a few other things that you have to massage into place. You do a couple of little things first before the, you know before you get started. It'll make life a lot easier. What you do is you zip tie the throttle open. This way it gets it up and out of your way. The on-off switch in the up position, which gives you which gives you sorry right here in the up position, which gives you the most clearance. Okay, and on the engine. Pre-cutting the fuel line and attaching the uh, the fitting that goes into the fuel tank will make your life a lot easier because once it's in, you won't be able to grab that. Now, because you, because the fuel line runs in such an awkward position, the tendency is to cut it a little longer to give yourself a, a little extra leeway to try to get that fuel line in. But there comes a problem. It's so tight inside the case that when you slide the fuel line back in, it has a tendency to kink as you come, you know, as you push it back. It'll kink in this position and cut off the fuel. So if you cut the fuel line pretty much exactly, if you stretch it out, exactly like the old one. If you do it too long, it'll kink and cut off the fuel flow. And it, oh, well, it was running when I had it out of the case. And then when I put it in the case, it doesn't run. You know, it'll sit there like that. Okay, uh, oh, and on here, take your throttle linkage, attach it to the carb, and then place it in this position here with the magnet holding it in place. That'll also make your life a lot easier. Okay, now some guys remove the spark plug. I really, did, I don't have much cause to. You just kind of push it down and wiggle it into place. Okay, what I generally do is I get the spark plug in first. I mean, the uh, spark plug wire, I should say. Do the hole first. That's going to be the hardest. Okay. Oh, and one other thing of note the fuel line goes on the inside of the spark plug, not around the outside. Or also, if you do it that way, it won't go into the channel. Okay, let's get the boot in. Okay, now the boot's sticking out the other side. Next is getting the fuel line. Okay, now the fuel line has pushed itself down. sure that the fuel line actually gets into that groove is the hard part because you've got to push down on the hose hold it in place push it down and then slide the engine at the same time okay let's see if we can do this okay, back here pull the spark plug up a little bit and the spark plug goes right through okay See how the fuel line has pushed itself to one side? It's got to get in that little channel. Bring it up. Push it over. Not do the screwdriver. Down, push the tab down inside that channel 
and hopefully you can get it to lock into place like it should have been in the first. Right in that channel right there. And that's where it's supposed to be. Okay. Let's check for clearance. Okay, now we gotta pull the spark plug. Boot up. Oh, it popped off again. Yeah, I'm gonna squeeze it a little tighter. Okay, this is the hard part right here. Get a pair of pliers. There we go. Pull that up into place. Let's see if we're gonna get the engine to go back. Sometimes the spark plug wire is the is the pain in the butt in the whole thing. Not quite. No, it's that spark plug wire. Let's see if we can get it up a little bit. There we go. Okay, double check to see if the holes align. Yep, now we can get the holes to make sure the, all the holes align. We can get them pretty close. Once on the top and the bottom. Sometimes it'll it takes a little massaging to get them into place. Okay, let's get one started. Let's start them with the screwdriver first, and we'll start with the impact because you wind up stripping them. And especially, especially on this one. You get that in, you cross thread it, you strip it, it's gonna be a it's gonna be a job to get it out. Okay. Down a little bit. And there it is. That went into place. Okay, yeah, leave them loose the engine back and forth and last but not least the top one which is the pretty one And you, you find yourself having to pour stuff in, stop. It's more than likely it's going to be this spark plug, this spark plug boot that gets you. Which is probably why it was ripped off in the first place. Okay, make sure that everything is in and aligned. The fuel line is straight in there, like it should be, not kinked. Okay, the throttle. Let's rotate this around. There we go. So your throttle is magnetized to the flywheel. Get that up in position. And spark plug is in there. Spark plug boot. Push this down. Make sure you have enough clearance. Okay. And well, for the pretty much we're in. Tighten this up. Okay, and now on one. Now what did I do with it? Oh, I did And this one again. Let's get it a look down all the way. There you go. And then to avoid stripping it. Tighten my hand. Ta da! Engines in the case. Three bolts, and you're done. Okay.